Now that we've had some practice giving teachers feedback via the dashboard, let's practice giving students some feedback. So do you remember this first slide where we were asking students to find the slope of a line that passes through two points and we found out that that was a negative seven sixth. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um, since we're on the fourth slide now, we're going to label this math input input four. And because there's only one math input that we're working with, we can actually use a shortcut. Instead of saying correct, uh, instead of saying input four dot numeric value is and so forth and so on, we can say use a shortcut that says this. So this dot numeric value is greater than negative 1.2 and this instead of input 4 dot numeric value is less than negative 1.16. So that's the statement that's going to put the correct check mark or the X in the dashboard for the teacher to see. The next thing we need to do is we need to create a variable and you can call your variable anything that you want to. I typically call it check and then I use the screen name that I'm using with this one. So check four, for example. So check four is going to be equal to this dot numeric value is greater than negative 1.2 and this dot numeric value is less than negative 1.16 so it looks very similar to what we just did, only this time we've created a variable. Now to make that variable be useful in helping us to give the students feedback, we need to add two more things. First of all, I like to put in a note. So that note's going to go beneath the student's input, because that's where their focus and attention will be. And we don't need to name the note, but in the computation layer, we're going to tell it that we want to create some feedback. So the feedback is going to be defined as a condition. So when not input dot four, sorry, input four um, it dot submitted is going to tell it, hey, when input four has not been submitted, I want you to just give no feedback. So two quotes with nothing in between, that's the feedback they should get. Then when um, input for dot. Now to go get that variable, we use the script command, or the script sync dot check for. So this is the the variable that we declared that we're checking to see if the conditions are met. So when this happens, we want them to see the word correct. So when nothing's submitted, don't display anything in my note when input four's um, script check for is true, in other words, when it's the number between negative 1.2 and negative 1.16, then I want to display the word correct. And then finally, I have to have an otherwise. And the otherwise is just going to tell it what to do if this is not correct. So we could give it to an empty quote again and not give them any feedback. Or you can say not quite. Or you could use emojis or check, mark, check marks and X's. You decide how you want that feedback to read for your students. So the last thing we need to do now that we've got this set up, and I see this problem, our feedback is giving me an error and equals, not a quote, quote, sorry, should be an equal sign there. Okay, so now when we're ready to show that feedback, all we need to do is go down here and get a value from the computation layer. And the only one that we have created for this note is called feedback. So when we preview this now, if a student puts negative seven, six in without pressing enter, notice that we have the check mark in the dashboard. So the teacher knows that they have the correct response. But when they press submit, they get the correct feedback. And if we choose to put in a number that's not quite right, negative 1.3, for example, and we hit submit, not only does the teacher see that it's not right, but they get the information that is not correct or not quite correct. And they have an opportunity to, to try again.